Hello YouTube watcher. I know that you've been looking at different information about joining dental hygiene program in a school near you and what was going to be involved. I would like to give you a couple of inside tips that might help you to make a decision that's going to save you a lot of money and make your life a whole lot easier. Most dental hygiene programs have a two year waiting list before you can even get in. Now during those two years, most schools will say, well, you can just take some prerequisites and we'll let you take your English and we'll let you take your microbiology and you will let you take a bunch of other classes at our school before you get into the program. What happens is you end up with almost 120 credits, which is what's usually needed to graduate with a baccalaureate degree. Now, if you listen to what I just said, you will suddenly realize that, oh my God, I'm going to have almost enough credits for a bachelor's degree, but I will only have an associate's degree. And I'm letting you in on this little secret on the front end. You can't do much besides cleaning teeth clinically with just an associate's degree. The market is really, really tight. And if you can make the best use of your educational experience, the better off you're going to be. So who am I? Who am I to tell you any of this stuff, right? My name is Shirley Gutkowski. I'm a dental hygienist and I've been a dental hygienist since 1986. I am a member of the Amy RDH online dental hygiene community and I am in touch with a lot, a lot of different hygienists across the entire country. The market is tight everywhere, not just the state that you're in. So take those two years of school at the university while you're on the waiting list. Then go to school for dental hygiene for those two years at the technical college where you're going to graduate with an associate's degree. Then you're going to transfer all of those credits back into your university because you've already checked to make sure that they'll accept those credits. And then you will have a bachelor's degree at the end. Most universities want you to graduate from their school with at least 30 credits. So that's another little piece of information that nobody's going to tell you until it's almost too late. So really, if you were to wait and then go to the university after you got your associate's degree, you would still have to do 30 credits at that university level. So I hope that this has helped you a little bit. If you need to contact me, feel free. My name is Shirley Gutkowski, G-U-T-K-O-W-S-K-I. You can find me everywhere on the internet. So have a great time at school. We need you. We want you. It's not too tight for you out there. If you plan appropriately, you will be in such better position for any kind of a job once you get out. Congratulations.